What's going on, y'all? Chuck Nunface here. Got the AD10 from Demco Knives. The Cold Steel Limited Edition exclusive in 3V Steel. Where does it say 3V? 3V Steel. This one with the black handle limited to 400 pieces, which I did not know when I did my original video on this. This is not a review. Um, I'm just going to kind of chat for a few minutes. A little bit about this knife, a little bit about what's going on. Um, so I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, <clears throat> excuse me, at Chuck underscore Nunface. I did post something in my story. Um, I have created a backup account. Um, it's Chuck Nun Limited. Um, and simply because I got another warning strike. I don't know what you call it on Instagram. I have more content removed. So I posted a picture of five knives and I put descriptions of the knives. However, I didn't put that they were for sale or anything else. I said, you know, link, you know, go to my story. There's a link to, you know, my, my Blade Forums post. You can get the details there. Just DM me, everything else. But I in no, in no way put, you know, sale posts or anything, prices, anything like that. And I got another flag saying they removed content. Now, the, the, the post is still up there and the picture... I believe it was the Medford Proxima. The picture that they <clears throat> supposedly removed is still there. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, so my account has been restricted. It was initially restricted for another sale po or for a sale post that I posted, I don't know, a few weeks back, a couple weeks ago. Um, and basically I couldn't, couldn't go live for 60 days or 30 days and now I can't go live for 60 days like that doesn't really matter to me I don't go live on Instagram so it doesn't really you know matter to me one way or the other however I just I kind of get the sense that my account's going to get popped at some point and I'm going to get zucked um it just I I don't know I can just I can feel it in the air you know, with everything that, that Zuckerberg said, he was doing censorship and everything else they threw before Congress. All of these policies are still in place, um, you know, because I get I get popped for, you know, selling regulated goods, regulated goods. You know, my knives are regulated goods. Now, I don't know about you, but a knife is not a regulated good. I mean, it's possible if it's an automatic knife, there are some jurisdictions that don't allow it. Um, but to call cutting implements, tools, regulated goods is laughable, honestly. And then you're going to restrict the account, the account, censor the account, literally being censored, not just in the sense that my reach has been limited and they're not, they're not promoting me in any way. They're not putting my content in the search or anything like that. And I'm not uh, by any stretch alone in this. I mean... But, um, you know, it's, it's happened to a lot of us. I mean, for months now, our, a lot of our posts have been come with warnings and, you know, you're basically it's just saying, you know, these, these, these posts that you have right here, these, they, they come with an exclamation point on your Instagram page and you can't, they can't be recommended and your account won't be recommended, yada, yada. Um, and so, you know, that's been going on for a while, but you know, with my account, at least it's gone one step further where now I'm being officially kind of censored because I'm supposedly breaking community guidelines and going against community guidelines by putting stuff up for sale. that's regulated goods. Um, so, I mean, I would say at least using Instagram as a, as a platform to move some knives that I'm, that I want to just kind of get out of my collection is, is going to be a thing of the past, I think. Cause like I say, this, this latest post that I had, I didn't even put anything that indicated it was a sale. I just put descriptions of the knives, which could be completely benign. Um, you know, so I, I don't know what's going on there, but that post got flagged also, you know, it, this is like what happened five or so years ago with the, with the two way community. Um, you know, things were getting censored and moved to put blocked down and, and, and pages were getting zucked and nuked and everything else. And now, you know, it's happening with something like knives now. I mean, it's just, Instagram is not a fl meta platforms. I would say meta is not a good platform for the things that we are into knives and stuff like that. You know, if you're into guns or anything, gosh, you're, it's even worse, but Oddly enough, anything that I post with a firearm in it on Instagram has been fine. 
Um, it's only my knife stuff that gets flagged. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. There, I don't know if anything's going to change. I don't see it changing because the type of, I don't know, you know, Zuckerberg talked about being coerced by the government and being, have it being suggested that, that he censored things that were, that were election related and everything else. But obviously a lot of other stuff gets thrown into this. So anything that isn't liked by this far left leaning platform is going to be in the, it's going to be in the target. Ironically, it's going to be in the crosshairs. Um, and so I don't know how much longer Instagram as a platform is going to be viable for sharing the type of content that we like. Um, I already, like, I don't want to post something and then think about, oh, is this okay for me to post? Like, is this going to get, is this going to get flagged? Because those thoughts do cross my mind now. You know, I, I post something, I'm like, oh, all right, you know, is this the type of content that's, that's going to get me another warning? You know, and I don't want to think that way about something that is just for entertainment and leisure and enjoyment. You know, I don't want to think, oh, well, if I do this, is this post going to get flagged? I, I don't want to think like that. So I don't know. I've, I may start posting more on X, Twitter, and seeing what's up with that. It's just, I don't have a very big following on Twitter. I only have like 60, 60 something followers on Twitter. I'm just, I haven't been active on Twitter. It's not something that I'm really, honestly, I don't really like Twitter. I don't like the way it's laid out. Um, but I don't know what else is out there for, that's just like a photo app. I mean, of course I'm on blade forums. I enjoy blade forums. It's good. I have fun on that, but it's, it's definitely, it's not the type of quick hit social media. You know, it's, it's more old school. It's a forum. It's different. And, and I like it. It's different, but it's a different, it's a different thing. There's a lot to enjoy on blade forums, but it's a different thing than something like an Instagram or Twitter something like that. Um, so I don't know what's next for us in general and for me in particular, um, for, for social media, you know, as of right now, I haven't had any issues on YouTube and my, my channel continues to grow. I mean, it's not huge, but I'm, you know, it's over 2000 now subscribers. I don't know what's going to happen with my channel. If they're going to start locking down on that. I mean, that's run by Google. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of, a lot of two-way creators have already been either shut down or demonetized and all this other stuff. I don't know if that's going to happen with, with knife channels, um, on YouTube. Uh, there is rumble. There's an alternative to YouTube. There is rumble, which is fairly popular. I may start posting on rumble as well. I don't know. Um, it's just kind of, it just kind of sucks in general. Um, I don't know. I kind of went off on a bit of a tangent and a bit more of a rant than I had, than I anticipated um, when I started this video. Uh, but you know, I'm open to suggestions. Let me know what your experience has been. Um, give me a follow at, on Instagram, I guess, at Chuck underscore Nunface. Follow my backup, Chuck underscore Nunlimited. Um, give me a follow on Twitter. Same name, Chuck Nunface. I think there's an underscore on Twitter. I don't know, or X as it's called. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Look for me on Rumble. You never know. It may be there. Um, and yeah, the Cold Steel 3V AD20 Full TI, one of 400 made. This is number 86. Very cool knife. Got it in a trade. But yeah, that's it. Y'all uh, be good. Censorship sucks. God bless America.